once more to another fun, exciting, dangerous, well, maybe not dangerous, uh, episode of The Stone Whisperer. Now, today I've got an extra little bonus video. We're going to go into one of the solo adventures that has just recently been released. Now, these are known as Naxxramas. It's based on an old raid or dungeon from the World of Warcraft game. So, I've never done this thing before. It's just recently opened up. So, let's have a wee click. And we'll go for here. So, I've already done the Arachnid Quarter, the Plague Quarter, the Military Quarter, and now we have the Construct Quarter. Bit of a mouthful that. So we have four bosses to fight here. And the first one is Patchwork. The massive abomination is Kale Facade's unstoppable avatar of war. Uh, he has a special hero ability destroy a minion. Okay, so I need to think how to do this because these are challenges, so it's not a standard typical way. So, having a, a deck with maybe only a handful of creatures won't necessarily work too well because you'll be getting well, yeah, you can guess from that. So let's choose patchwork anyway. Now these are my actual decks I have. Uh, a paladin one called Top. Um, a, a priest deck called Velen, that's based on a legendary hero. A warrior deck called Sea Troll. It's a control deck that was known as it just helps to kind of keep things under control. Uh, a warlock deck known as Free Range, a druid deck known as Ramp, a mage deck, a shaman deck, and a hunter deck I've not actually tried yet, that could be an option though, and a warrior deck that I've got called To The Face. So, um, I'm trying to think what one would be better. Without having ever done this before, uh, go for a relatively safe option, that's to the face. The warrior deck, basically I just attack his face over and over and over again. So, let's hit play, let's dive in. So, oiling up the chains, we're spraying some stench in Ray. and now we enter and there's patchwork so let's have a look at this okay so it looks like he is almost the same as me he attacks the face so what will I play let's remove that for now. We'll keep these two as a charge and quite high damage. So is going already. So let's move to our next turn. This is going to be a tough game I see. So we played a fiery war axe 
Uh, that lets me now attack him. I'll use my mana crystal and upgrade my axe just to give me some more damage going there. Now let's see he is. I have three turns left to kill him. This is going to be very, very difficult. So let's attack. Again. Menu and using this spell, I'll give him some bonus attack. And I think you'll kill him, yeah. Don't have much options left. Hmm. Actually, no, I've just won. That's fantastic. Now, the reason I've uh, won is because he can only do five more damage. Uh, because I was able to armor up for an additional five. That's given me one extra turn. Now the next turn, I'll be able to use the Fiery War Axe for three damage and charge for four. He's only got six left, so that's this one thankfully done. So end of turn. And I'll take a bit of a hit there. Our charge menu, and we were successful in this challenge. That was quite fun, I really enjoyed that one. So, the habit of war, I should have sewn together from better players. There's some little fun comments and quotes from the uh, boss here. So, uh, because we defeated the boss, able to get some additional new cards. Now in this one, as we're defeated, we get an Undertaker. Whenever you summon a minion with Death Rattle, it gets plus one health, a plus one power, sorry, and plus one health. That's a one-two card. It's quite a decent drop, uh, but it could probably replace um, a couple of cards in other decks I have. Uh, death rattle means that if a minion has an effect and it dies. That's a very common theme in the Naturalis uh, Solo Adventure mode. So that's fantastic. We've managed to beat that. And now I can click to continue. And we'll see that we have another boss waiting from us for us so nice and quick hopefully the others go as straightforward on that and you guys all make sure you have a great day let me know how you feel about this video i've tried to add in some white noise blankers and by that i mean just little noises here and there just to stop the awkward silences when I'm thinking things over. So that's how you might have heard the uh, that sort of thing. Just to see if a bit triggers anything. If it annoys you, just let me know. I'll certainly try and change it. Okay everybody, thanks very much for watching again, for listening. You take care. Have a great day now. Thanks. And Bye-bye.